Hi there YouTube, just a quick video uh, of a project I've been working on. Basically, it's uh, start I'm starting to build a metal, metal, sorry, a metal melting furnace. And what it is, it's basically a steel cylinder which was cut from a gas bottle with a lid and the air intake pipe. Air intake pipe. <clears throat> I'm going to look at uh, fueling this on uh, LPG propane. At the moment all the steel work is pretty much finished but it's a long way off from being completely finished because uh, I'm waiting on the refractory uh, cement which I've ordered off eBay. I've got a 25 kilo bag of uh, 1400 degree dense castable refractory. So let's take this off and uh, look at how I've built it. So I started off basically it's cut from a gas bottle and the reason why it hasn't got the original base on it was because many years ago I built a uh, charcoal fired furnace from a gas bottle and the base of it is just out there and there's the original pipe. This is going to be a lot better than uh, <clears throat> the original one because this actually is going to have a refractory line in. So. I started off, I welded the base on. If we look at this, take a look inside. See right there, it's, it's all fully seam welded. Some handles, TIG welded on the uh, outside and on the, uh, the lid. The pipe sits in at an angle, which creates the vortex, so the uh, flame and the gases will rotate inside when the refractory is in. And when the refractory arrives, what I'm first going to do is put a layer of refractory on the bottom, probably about two inches, 50 millimeters uh, thick. The tube sits 65 millimeters from the base, so there's going to be uh, 15, mil 15 millimeter clearance in case uh, the crucible fails and I don't get molten metal all flooding back down the tube to the gas burner. When that's in and it sets, 200 millimeter insert sit on top of the uh, refractory and will sit snug against that pipe there. And then basically I'll pack it with refractory all the way around there and then when it sets pull that out which it probably won't come out that easy. And for the lid vent hole there, I'll use a bit of a 50 mil steel tube just to drop that into drop that into there and then basically fill that with the refractory cement and level it all off so that'll be the lid complete and uh, what I'm looking to do here is use a small brass bolt and I've got some uh, a fitting like this with a small brass bolt bolted in the end tapped out with uh, M, uh, M6 so I can screw a welding tip in there to use as an ejector nozzle. Have that mounted in there, probably by drilling and tapping some uh, threaded bolts through there. And it'll then connect to a propane gas regulator so as the uh, propane fires, fires out the end of the uh, tip it'll draw air up the tube. There is a proper name for that, I can't remember. And then to the uh, melting area Hopefully I want to get it to the temperature so it can melt copper at, but uh, there's no guarantee of how hot it's going to get. But what I'm planning on doing with, when I get the refractory is mixing three parts refractory cement and maybe adding one part perlite to it to give it that more, give it that little bit extra thermal insulation because Cassavo refractory is dense, they're not very good thermal insulators, but by mixing something like perlite with it it would increase its uh, thermal resistance, sorry it's thermal, uh, lower its uh, thermal conductivity. So yeah, so when the refractory is in and it's set I'll do a quick update video. So yeah, see you lads.